today. We are going to uh, learn how to put a zipper on a tote or a purse, you know, anything that you have made before or an existing bag that you were never happy with the way you've had to close it with either Velcro or an enclosure. So I'm going to show you how we can actually add a zipper to the top of it. And here's just an idea of what we have done. This is just one of the totes that I have made, and it's actually for sale on Etsy, um, but, but it had Velcro closure. So what I did was I made this um, flap type top with a zipper in the middle, and it gives it a much more solid, more secure um, feeling tote, and it's, it's really cute. Isn't that really cute? I think it's, it's great. So, and then just to show you one more, I made this little bag. This is called my Valerie style bag. And it too did not have a top. And so last night I put this style top on it. The reason it has a tab, a zipper so long in the tab, is because if you made the zipper go from here to just there, when you go to open it, look at the stress you're putting on this corner of the zipper, and it doesn't open it all the way. Whereas when you use the full extension of the zipper, you have access to the whole entire bag. You can even put these on the inside and leave it open if you want. So it gives you a little bit more flexibility, but I'm so excited that we're going to do this today. I've been getting a lot of letters and emails um, and comments under my videos of, of how to put a zipper on after you've already made a bag. So we're going to address that today. Be right back. Okay, for this project, you're going to want to use um, maybe the same fabric that you have on the outside of your bag, your focal part. If um, you have a bag that is a little bit older and you don't have any of the fabric left over or you have a store-bought bag, just try to use your imagination and um, choose something that coordinates with it pretty well. I happen to have just a little, very little um, fabric left over of what I did use on the outside. So um, you just need a couple pieces of that that are whatever length your bag is by whatever your width is and I'll explain that in a moment. So you're going to need two pieces of interfaced um, fabric and that's going to be your panel. Choose a zipper that is quite a bit longer than your project. I'm going to show you how to um, put that on and um, cut it down towards the end but you do want to leave some at least about three inches at the end, okay? At least three inches. And then you're going to want another piece to make the tab that goes on the end. And this piece I measured, it's two and a half inches by three inches, okay? And we're going to make a really darling tab for the end. And we'll get, you know, some fun. I added a little surprise to that that I haven't talked to you about yet, so that'll be kind of fun. Okay, so um, let's get started. Okay, so I wanted to give you the um, specs for this particular bag because you can take those specs and, and use them for any bag that you would like to do. Um, and so how I do this is I measured this, and this is 11 inches wide by 4 inch gussets. The box corners are four inches. So we're going to make the top very similar to those measurements. Okay? Very, very similar. But I don't want this to be 11 inches long across here because this will be bumping into the the, the zipper part will be bumping into the sides. And I, I really don't want that. That'll be more self-explanatory as we go. So I'm going to set this aside. And I have cut out two pieces and remember, the bag is 11 inches wide, so I've cut out two pieces that are 12 by 4. Okay, so 12 by 4. And what that does, it enables me to turn each of these short sides over, and I'm going to go press them. 
And please take note that I have used medium weight. You could even use light weight or even heavy weight. But I think heavy weight is a little too much for this bag. It is a tote. It is a soft bag. I don't really feel like it needs to be real um, like my Valerie bag. It was very sturdy, but I don't feel like for my tote it needs that, okay? So I'm going to take this over to the ironing board, and I'm going to press these four sides over just a half of an inch, and... I will meet you back here and we'll show you what's next. Okay, so you can see that I did take my two panels over and I folded the edges over no more than a half an inch each because of, you know, what we measured. We only wanted to fold over an inch total. Okay, so just to show you how that's going to fit into the bag, let me back this up a little bit. If I were to fold this would see that it's a good length for the inside. It's not touching your edges here, okay? So that's just kind of the point I wanted to make with that. So now what I want you to do is I want you to take your zipper and you see that you, at the top of the zipper tape, the zipper stops right there. At the top of the zipper tape, don't ever cut that off. Boy, does that fray and make a really big mess. So, for this project, what I want you to do is just really gently pull it down. Let me do this just a little bit. And as straight as you can, I want you to just put a couple stitches right there on both sides. Okay? I don't want you to turn it over way down here where you're actually pulling some of the teeth back just the ribbon and you'll see where it's really comfortable and it doesn't mind going back when you start to go too far back it really you know creates some resistance so we don't want to do that and I just want it straight across I don't want it out here I don't want to make wings okay I just want it straight down so I'm going to take it over to my sewing machine I'm just going to put a, just a couple stitches right there Okay, nothing fancy, just to hold that down, and then I'll show you what we're going to do next, okay? Okay, so I did go and do that, and hopefully you can see that it's just now straight across. The zipper pull comes down just a little bit, but you know what, that's okay. So what we're going to do is take one of your panels, and you're going to place it right sides up. You're going to lay your zipper right side up, and match it to the edge right here perfectly to the edge okay and just kind of follow along up here and make sure that looks neat but this is where we're going to need our clips because we're going to lay this down this edge is going to be perfectly straight with that edge and you're going to set a clip Just like that. Make sure it's straight. Okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to take this side and you're going to fold it to meet that side like that. And you're going to clip it all the way down. What I want you to be very mindful of though is sandwiching this zipper perfectly square. Okay, you don't want the zipper up too much or way down in there. You want it perfectly square with this top that we talked about. It just makes the edge really, really nice, okay? The zipper pull is in the way, but that's okay because we're not going to start sewing where the zipper pull is. We're going to start down here just a little bit like you've seen us do in several other projects. So I guess we can come down here and make sure it's sandwiched perfectly and add your clip. Okay, your zipper is right there. Boy, you can, you can see it actually bulging just a little tiny bit. Okay, keep going. We're going to sandwich this 
here. About three inches down, we're going to add another clip. Okay, finish that all the way to the end, making sure it is absolutely in there even, because the zipper would like to sink down in there. We don't want that. We want it to be perfectly sandwiched, the three of them. that all the way to the end to your nicely turned under ends so that we don't see any raw edge showing. Okay, mine slipped a little bit so I want to make sure Jojo My doggie thinks she wants to bark at the dog mix store. So I have her on the chair with me because she's pretty quiet when she's up here with me. Otherwise, there's no way we can make this video. She's my little Barky Barkington. Okay, and then my last clip will be right there. Now, even though we have it clipped, I still want you, when we sew, to really pay attention to where these three pieces are have come together. I'm going to take you over to my sewing machine and I'm going to have you watch me do this. And we're going to start down here because the zipper pull is going to um, keep us from starting at the very top. And also we want to pay special attention um, to make sure that th that is just perfect before we sew that down, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. So let me adjust my camera and you can watch me <clears throat> start sewing this from about here down. Also, take time to put your zipper foot on now. This is a good time to do that, okay? Okay, so I did put my zipper foot on, and I'm going to remove this first clip. Make sure that that is exactly where I want it to be. Put it under my foot. Now normally, when I sew a zipper on, I use this um, edge right here to line up against my fabric. But that is a little bit too close towards the zipper for me, so I'm going to have it hang off just the smallest amount. Okay? I don't know if you can see that, but it's not actually right to the edge. It comes down just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just do a little baby back stitch. You're going to really want to take your time with this part and go slow. You want to make sure you're completely uniform, what you just did. I don't know why my machine's making that sound. I didn't like that. Hmm. Something's up here. Okay. Continue to go down, going really slow.
something didn't sound right, but I didn't really test it before I started my tutorial, so that's what I get. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to continue on. I'm pretty sure it's, it's okay, because I just have this far to go. stitch to lock that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to back you up. Because what we need to do now is move the zipper. And how you do that is you just slightly open it up. And you push it down, you know, carefully, but as far down as you can get it without having to take anything apart here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this tab or the top of the zipper, we're going to line it up with this edge, line this up perfectly with that edge. Now my zipper pull is down here, so it is not going to be in my way. I'm going to start up here, do a little back stitch, and meet our first stitch. It's a little awkward, but it'll be fine. It's, it's all doing it more than the first time is a little bit strange, but the second time you'll go, I know what it's supposed to look like and feel like, so it'll be a lot easier. Sometimes you have to work at this part to feed it through. It doesn't want to, to go very easily, so I just go very slow. I work with it. That's pretty normal. You have to kind of work with it a little bit. And then you just go to where you stopped, started before. Okay. This next part is where you need to be very, very patient because we're going to turn it right side out now. And the best way that I know how to do that is to start it down here and just flip this one little part. Okay? Just that one little part. And very carefully grab the teeth of your zipper and just start pulling. That's on there pretty good. It's pretty strong, but I still am very, very careful with that part. And I just continue to pull that through. And what this does is because we sewed it the way we did, we hid all the edges. And it's just going to have a real nice finished look to it because you're going to see the back part of it on the very top of your tote or bag. This is a slow process, but it's, it's worth it. Boy, and if you made these panels smaller, it's, it's going to be a little bit more of a challenge. You know, there's a couple of different ways to do this. And hopefully we will get to another video a lot sooner. And I can show you even how to do that one for a very small opening. Still using the panels, but very, very small. Because this would be extremely difficult to pull through if it was small. Even if you know all the little tricks, okay? Jojo. Hi, you want to say hi to everybody? No, she wants to get down and go bark at the neighbor. How dare they come home and she can hear their keys. Sorry this is taking so long. takes to get this pulled through. It's worth it. 
it's really pretty. then. So now what you're going to want to do is see how important it is to get this really straight across. I didn't get it as close as I would have liked to, but maybe you'll do better than I did. So now what I'm going to do very carefully, because you know the iron can melt your, your nylon here, um, zipper, um, is you're going to take it over to the um, iron and you're going to press this away from the zipper okay and we're not going to worry about closing this up right now because we need to make sure that the other side is even before we have to uh, sew all the way around okay all right so I'm going to do that off camera and I'm going to actually do the next panel off camera You've already seen me do this one, so you're going to do the exact same thing. And remember how you do that? You're going to have it faced up. And you're going to sandwich it like that. Okay? You're going to pull this side over. This needs to be tucked in a little bit, okay? But don't let it worry you. It's just, it seems like it's going to be in the way, but it really isn't. It's soft fabric, and it'll fold really nice. So you're going to put this like this and you're going to start clipping okay but you're not actually going to start sewing until you get down here because the zipper pull will be in the way okay and you just start clipping You're going to pull it through like you did the other side. Take your time, okay? So once you get this sewn up, remember you've got to open this up and make your zipper go down, okay? Get this zipper pull out of your way so that you can sew from here to where you started. Okay, I left my zipper foot on. I just thought it would be easy to do that. Sew it with the zipper foot on. So I'm going to start at this corner here doesn't matter where you start, it really doesn't, as long as you start along the corner and come across to your zipper. Stringies. And here's your panel. That looks really nice, huh? Oh, 
Okay, so let me zoom you out. Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm going to bring my bag over and we're going to decide exactly how much zipper we need to leave. And of course, that's going to be your personal choice. I just have a couple ideas that I want to share with you. And hopefully you can see me from, from here. Um, but what I want to do is um, show you, we got to find this, we have to find the center of this bag so and the center of this so that we can pin it in place and then it'll show and then I can show you how I decide how long I want to leave my zipper and how I do that is I take the bag and I I open it all the way and line up both of the side seams because actually what I'm doing is trying to find the very center of the bag so here's this the point on this side that's the very middle of the bag in the front. And I'm just going to pop a pin in there to show me where that is, okay? Put the seams together and pop a pin right here where I put my little ribbon piece to hang my tassel, which this is a good time to take. That is the center of my bag. And how we find the center of this is to simply fold it in half. And put a pin here. And of course here. important thing I want you to stop and think about right now is you need to decide which way you want your zipper to open and close. This is the front of my bag and you've got to imagine when I have it on my body is probably going to be on this side. I am right handed so I want my zipper pull to open from that side. It, it's not really a big deal, but it is to me. Okay, especially on my crossbody bags, I want my zipper to be to where I can just grab it and go. I don't want to try to reach it from the other side. Okay, so if that's not a big deal to you, fine, but that is a little bit more um, information I wanted you to have. So I actually, for this bag, I want my zipper pull over here, which is um, happens to be on my right side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this in here like this now, and I'm going to line up the two pins, and I'm going to bring this down just slightly. I don't want it perfectly even with the top. Okay, there's a reason for that. I don't want to really get into that right now, but I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. Then I'm going to take one of the pins, and I'm going to pin it on there, because I know it's middle to middle now. Okay, and I pulled out my other pin. And I'm going to continue on now, just every couple of inches, and pinning it. Now my handles may appear like they're in the way, but the way I sew this on, they're not going to be in my way, because I'm going gonna, gonna to show you how I do that. What I'm trying to do now is make sure that you have this exactly even all way. And your last one is right there. Okay. Okay. So hopefully you can see now that when you get this pinned on the other side, can see why you didn't take this any further
this way. Okay, it's already almost too long, but I have a feeling it's going to be just, just perfect. Okay, so I'm going to continue to pin over here. Then we're going to turn around and continue to pin, line up my two pins here, and pin it all the way along. And then I will come back and show you what we're going to do next. Okay, I do have my bag um, panels pinned on to the top, and this is pretty much, you know, what it looks like. So, the next thing that I am going to do is we'll just open this up. I decided we'll, we'll address the length of this when we're done. There's a couple different ways to do it, but this way was, is probably easier. What I want to do is have this completely open and the zipper inside and out of the way. Because now what we're going to be doing is putting this on our machine, and we're going to be sewing all the way around the whole entire bag. That's why I didn't do that before is because remember I made this so that we can add um, this part later. So what I need to do is I need to take this off of my machine, remove all my things, and I'm going to put my regular foot back on. very, very slow and be careful on this. As a matter of fact, I'm going to push all my pins in just a little bit. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing because I have you behind me so I can't really tell if you can see me or not. And we're going to go really slow through this process because I want to talk to you about how I go around my handles and how I address, you know, things like that. Basically, I'm just going to get it on there, and what I'm going to do is tuck my handle that's on this side and everything underneath. I'm just going to bring the bag over like this, and now I am free to move it about the arm, okay? This is all free underneath here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the first part of my very first part where I started my panel, okay? And... So I need to bring this around a little bit. Hopefully you can see that. And I'm going to make sure that I'm going to catch it. So I think what I'm going to do is come down and use the side of my foot. And that's going to put my needle exactly where I want it to be. Okay, so at home you might adjust that a little bit where you want yours to make contact with the panel, but this is exactly where I want mine to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this down, and you can't really see it from here, but you know what's under there, and it's pinned very, very well, but I just didn't want to go, go at it from the outside in. That just has its own little set of struggles, and I just didn't want to do that. This is just an easier way for me, but if you feel like you need to see the inside panel exactly um, while you're sewing it, then by all means, turn the whole thing the other way and do it. But this, this really works fine for me. So I'm going to line up the bag with the edge of this, and I'm going to give it a good lock stitch. this pin. Now I'm going to take my handle and I'm going to go across it. I don't want my handle down, okay? I want my handle to go across it. Take out that pin. We don't want to sew over a pin. Go very, very slow. You're going through a lot of thicknesses at this point, okay? Here I go over my handle. There's another pin I want to take out. Making sure I follow that edge. part of the handle. 
always want, we can make this exact tote. It's one of my favorite patterns that I designed. It's cute, it's clean, you can make it any size you want. Super versatile. Lots of pockets. There's even a zipper on the inside. Maybe that'll be one of our projects soon. Okay, so I know we're getting to the edge of our panel because we're at the edge of our bag. So, but I want to do a double stitch when we get there. So I'm going to peek underneath. Yes, we are there. There's the edge. So what I want to do now is reinforce that part, okay? But I'm going to keep sewing because I wanted the whole bag to have a top stitch anyway. Be very careful because you have pins underneath and you just slightly rotate this, smush this down, it's not going to hurt it at all. Going over lots of thicknesses at the corner. This pin tells me we're at the next part of our beginning of the panel, stage two of the panel, and I want to pay special attention when I get there because I want to reinforce that. Okay, we want to go over that a couple of times. Choose a thread color that is that is good for, you know, being a little bit more discreet on this side. You're not going to see it so much underneath, but you're going to see it in the, the panel part too. Make sure your handle is straight up. If this is the design strap that you have on it, your strap, not panel. I got panel on the brain. on it. It's really good. It's all right there exactly where it needs to be. I'm very confident that I'm getting it. This is our last panel, edge of the panel. So we're going to come across here. Make sure you can see it. Get a double stitch right there and continue on around your corner. Pulling this out like that. Making sure your zipper didn't get caught. Absolutely straight. Okay, now we're going to back stitch. I'm glad we saw that at this stage. I thought I caught it up here, but I didn't. see this. It is so fun. It is so pretty. Okay. Pull it off. I did sew over a couple pins, which is a big no-no. actually going to come in and do another one very, very close to the edge here just for, um, 
to make sure that it's it's on there really good. This does take you know a beating, so um, I am going to go around. I'm not going to take you with me this time, and I'm going to go very very close to that edge. Um, this time I'll probably come at it from the inside, so I'll put it in my machine like this, making sure my handles are out. It doesn't really need it, but I just feel like I want to do that with this bag. And then what we'll do is we'll address how long we're going to leave this. We're going to put a tab on it, and you're done. Okay? Be right back. Okay, so yeah, I, I felt it necessary um, to go around it two times. It really gave it a pretty finish on this tube, so I think this is great. I think this turned out really well. It's pretty close to the edges here, so you don't feel like there's a large gap. But now I want to show you um, how I how long I would leave the zipper part and how to put a tab on there. And how I do that is I go ahead and I open up the whole thing. Okay. And I bring it out. It doesn't really matter how far I bring that out. What I want to do, though, is I want to make sure that if, if I wanted to, I could have this all the way completely, um, whoops, I haven't sewn up the bottom yet, sorry about that. I want to make sure that it's, it's open 100% and I can get to every part of my bag. Okay, so once you've done that, you can work your way backwards a little bit and say, well, it opens 100% here. So maybe that's all the length you know you want to leave. You don't want to leave it much more zipper than that. So what I would do is I would take that and I would mark it. You don't want to go any shorter than that, um, or or much longer. Either way, that is your your marking point. Okay. So then what you would do is we're going to go ahead and start our tab. And for me, this is the measurements that I made a tab. You can do them so many different ways. But what I have done is I have taken my piece that is, let me remeasure, it is three inches by two and a half. So what I have done is I ironed down my two three inch parts, okay, towards the middle. And what I'm going to do now is you've got to bring the whole bag over because, you know, you've already sewn that on there and it's attached. <clears throat> is you take your scissors and leave yourself some room. I'm going to give myself an extra inch on this, okay? So I'm going to cut the zipper off like right about here. Straight, straight across. Save your zipper. If you have new tabs, you can put that on and use it for something else. And what I want to do now is I'm going to put the zipper about this far up, maybe three quarters of an inch up, but I'm going to move this over to the edge because I'm going to fold this this way, and I'm only testing this, I'm not going to sew it when it's on here yet. Okay, so you want it three quarters of the way in from here. And I'm going to mark where I want to start sewing. Okay, I don't want my tab to be the exact size of the zipper. I want it just a little bit over. See, now I can take that off, and that's going to show me where I want to make my little seam. Now, normally I would go this way and close the bottom up, but I thought we would do something kind of fun to the end. So just at this point, trust me, and just sew from here to the end, back stitch on both sides, and um, Let's go ahead and do that now, and I'll show you what I wanted to do. So I marked it with my finger. Back stitch, okay. So it's time to change my thread. Even in 
website look like. So now we just turn that inside out, right sides out. Normally you would think that maybe this is the way, I know this is the right zipper, but you would put it in this way. I don't ever want to run the risk of seeing my little seam on the inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it this way. I want to feel that because I only want it in about three quarters of an inch, okay? Now, what I wanted to do is we're just going to pin this in place for a second. Okay. Do you see how I put this on here and it just kind of gave me a place to hang my tassel or any other decorative thing that I wanted to add to the bag. Well this is some silk cording and just to have some fun what I wanted to do is I cut a piece of silk cording already and I'm just going to bend it in half and of course, you got to sew this across here, and you got to go this way. But when you go this way, I wanted to put a small piece of cording in here. And remember, you don't have to. This is your bag, your project. But I'm going to sew it across there. Because I thought, while I'm sitting there, later with not much that I need to do, I want to do, I'm going to make a little piece of jewelry. So I would sew across there just a couple of times to strengthen it, go all the way around, so that when this hangs off the edge, it's got a little decorative part to it. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Then you could just sew straight across without this. But I'm going to go ahead and add, add that. I think it's just going to be kind of fun to go with this bag. It goes with this piece here. Okay, so now for realsies, <laughs> here's our real zipper, our real project. I'm going to slip that into there. And I'm going to only go up to the pin that we had marked before. Pull the pin out and actually put it back in right there. Keep it in place for ourselves. I'm going to take my little bit of cording. bottom here. I don't need much of it sticking out because I have these little tiny lobster claw because um, I make jewelry and I'll use one of those and hang some beads off the end here. I thought that would be kind of fun and cute and just, you know, if you just don't love, love, love this tab and zipper hanging over the edge so much, well, this would probably add a little bit of decorative fun to it. and Maybe you won't mind it so much. I like it. I've gotten used to it. And my girlfriend and I were at a, a mall and we were looking at all the gorgeous, gorgeous $1,200 bags and they even had the tab that extended over the end and we went, hey, that's pretty cool. So it's not just a, a homemade thing. It is, it is, it's just a thing. so it'll stay. So now I'm going to go over to my sewing machine and I'm going to come across here, go around the edge, 
and across there, and um, hopefully that turns out really well, and, and I'll meet you okay, back. Okay, I'm back. I did finish my little tab on the end with the little um, piece of cording that goes with it. I think this came out really well. It has so many possibilities, so many different ways that you can do it. You can even shorten this and just have it be a little piece. You can go as close to the edge as you want. We're going to put some beads, dangly beads, on the bottom of this so it'll just hang a little bit nicer. But this is exactly what I was hoping to get across to you guys this week, okay? And we're going to continue to work on zippers. We're going to continue to work on some fun pockets and handles, and I'm thinking maybe next time we should do a really, really awesome shopping tote. Okay, so until next time, please subscribe to my channel, and thank you. Enjoy your day. This is Lynn.